So some of you have said that you don't really have a handle on the topic of theme yet. And you are not alone. Theme can be a really slippery subject. I think it's much more useful to think in terms of a thematic image system. And it's also much more fun. What I mean by that is a whole interconnected set of images and themes and concepts. So today we're going to take a look at the image system of Raiders of the Lost Ark. And I can already hear some of you saying, but my book isn't anything like Raiders. Can't you do something more realistic? Well, yeah, I can and I will, but I think it's really useful to look at the bigger fantasies for this kind of thematic image system at first, because it's easier to see. And I also want you guys to get that a movie does not have to be in your own genre to be really useful to you. But I've said it before and I'll say it again now, a set piece does not have to be big to be powerful. One of the movies we've been talking about, Eat, Pray, Love, some of the set pieces in that one are essentially just Julia Roberts alone in a room. And we can certainly look at those scenes if you want to. But Raiders wasn't a gonzo blockbuster for nothing. People lined up to see that movie, and then they came back the next day and the next week, all through the summer that it was released. And that's not because it was just a popcorn movie. There's a lot more going on there than that. One of the strongest themes in this movie is the need to respect the power of the gods and of sacred sites and the perils of not respecting those sites and those gods. We really see this theme playing out in Indy's character. This is a story about a tomb raider. Our hero breaks into the sacred sites of other cultures and steals priceless artifacts for profit. He's the ultimate imperialist, and at the beginning of the movie, we see his absolute contempt for the occult, for religion, for any kind of faith. So underneath all of the swashbuckling, this is not a guy with a moral center. He desperately needs to be taught a lesson in respect. And in the end, in the final battle, it's only his complete surrender to the power of the gods that saves him and Marion. So his character arc is from trespasser, blasphemer, disbeliever, to complete belief and respect for the awesome power of the gods. It's even implied in the end of the movie, the resolution, that he's going to be dedicated to returning sacred objects that should never have been taken. Although, as I remember, you don't really see much of that in the sequels. And we see that character arc and those messages reflected in the visual image system. It's really useful to take any movie that you're looking at and just list some of the images in the thematic image system. So here's my list for Raiders, just a quick list to start. Now, isn't it interesting how just those words on the page give you a really good idea of the action and visuals we're going to get in this movie? And you maybe see how useful it would be for you to make your own list for your own book? Okay, so you see where this is going. But first, let's just start by looking at Raiders and the thematic image system set up in just the opening sequence of that movie. We first see Indiana Jones and three porters hiking through a South American jungle to eerie music and strange animal sounds, setting a tone of mystery and danger. And the first bit of action we see is when one of the porters ties up his horse and brushes some vegetation aside, 
to face a glaring idol. The porter screams and runs away in terror, which he should. He's showing the proper respect for the gods and their sacred place. And then as the cave sequence progresses, we see these images. As Indy and the remaining porter enter the cave, we see an image from a cult mythology, which is the veil between worlds, which they're about to move through. This is another image from South American mythology. They're passing under the roots of the world tree. And then we have what really looks more like an Aztec calendar, but the sun god is very big in Peruvian mythology. And then, of course, the inner sanctum of the temple with the altar and the golden idol that they're after. Now, we'll see a lot of this imagery throughout the movie, but especially in the set piece scenes. All of these major set pieces, which are also sequence or act climaxes, are working these themes. Thematic imagery is just a great tool to use to create a great set piece or climax. And the filmmakers create very unique set pieces that look very visually different from each other by using different world religions for each set piece. So we had the Peruvian imagery in the opening sequence. The call to adventure is when the government guys come to Indiana with a job for him. And this scene really works the Judeo-Christian imagery. It's a lecture hall, but it looks like a chapel. You see the stained glass there. There's a lectern like a pulpit, and there are scrolls. Again, the scrolls and a book that looks very much like a Bible. And Indy opens that Bible to show this picture of an army being laid waste by the awesome power of the Ark. The midpoint well of souls scene uses Egyptian imagery, the hieroglyphics, the gods, the obelisk. But Indy also looks a lot like Moses here with the staff and the head covering and the kaftan. So now it's time to do your own list. What are some of the recurring images and themes that you're using or want to use in your own book?